Welcome. In this video, we will explain how to use Render Pool for Blender Cycles. This is part two of this video series, where we'll be looking at Render Pool's UI, explaining how to upload, render, and download your rendered data. For those unsure of what to prepare when uploading your files for rendering, please be sure to take a look at part one of this video series. So let's get started. Here is the Render Pool website. You can find a link for it in the description below. For those who have not yet made an account, click on Start Rendering Today to register. We're currently offering 100,000 trial points for all new users. For those who have already made an account, click Login to proceed. After logging in, your browser should look like this. Allow me to explain the UI of the Render Pool homepage. The top right corner shows your current balance, as well as the points estimated to be used when rendering. For trial users, a watermark will be added to your final renders, but you can have this watermark removed by purchasing credits. You can do this by clicking on Purchase Credits on the right side of your current balance. For purchase credits, we offer two options. The monthly plan option is for users who already use or plan to use our service every month you can save about 20% from daily rendering compared to irregular usage. Excess points are carried over to the following month, and if you exceed the limit of your monthly plan, you can still purchase points from the credit plan. Speaking of which, the next option would be a credit plan. This allows you to choose how much you want to spend and when you want to spend it. This means that you don't have to worry about going over your initial budget. In the center, you can see what is being uploaded, and what is being rendered. Now let's go to the upload page to upload our scene for rendering. Click on the upload tab. On the upload page you can either click and select to upload or drag and drop from your file window to upload. Once you see the name of your file on the right side, click on upload file to upload to our server. Give it a minute to upload. Once the file upload is complete, click on Start Render to proceed to the Queue page. On this page, you can set your render settings. As of this tutorial, we support Blender 3.x and 2.93 Cycles engines. You can choose whichever you prefer. You can also set the sampling from here, so I will use the same sampling as my blend scene. For the file format, we currently support EXR and PNG but are planning to add more render file formats in the future. The rendering target frame is where you can set which frames you want to render. I want to render all frames in my scene, so I'll set the start frame and the end frame to the same as my blend scene. On the lower right, you can check the cost estimation of the render. Please keep in mind that it's an estimation, as the points used may ultimately be less or more than expected. Please choose the resolution in order to find the best estimation that matches your upload resolution. This will not override your final render resolution, this is simply for estimation. Once the setting is ready, click on Start Render. When clicking on Start Render, your browser will be taken to the Running page. You can click on View Details to check the details and the progress of your render. Let's wait for this render to finish. Okay, looks like this render is complete. Click on the view file to download the rendered file. We can also go to the rendered file page 
From here, you can download the rendered files that are connected to the compositor node. You can download your file output node files from the Download AOV option on the right. This will be all for this tutorial on Render Pool for Blender Cycles. You can contact us at renderpool.net for any questions, concerns, or even request features you'd like to see in the future. Thank you again for watching.